Welcome to today's Pandas Functions uh, Everyday Data Analysis Tutorial. Today, I'll talk about pivot and pivot table. What is pivot? A pivot is used to reshape a given data frame organized by given index or column and values. If you wanted to uh, reshape your data frame based on the index or column and values, so this pivot function is very useful to solve your problem. Uh, this is a general syntax to, so, uh, to, uh, to use pivots in pandas. The pandas does pivots and we pass the data frame. And we also pass index is by default it is none, but if, if it is none, uh, it, it uses existing index but we can uh, pass uh, the index uh, column or the column that's uh, going to organize uh, your data frame uh, as index and columns. And uh, this column uh, is to use to make the new frames uh, columns. Uh, the values of the new, that this columns is going to be uh, converted into column. And the values that are going to be assigned to the new uh, reshaped columns is we also, this is also a column. So this is the general syntax and how we can uh, do this. This is an example. We have four columns and uh, four rows, item column, uh, customer type, gold, bronze, gold, silver, and price in your city and in euro. Such a table, it is not easy to see how the USD price varies over different customers, customer types. So how can you compare the prices for each customer type, gold, bronze, gold, silver? So to easily understand and to easily compare the prices of each customer type, you can just reshape your data frame uh, based on the uh, item and the customer type. And we just convert the item into indexes and the customer type gold, bronze, and silver into columns. And the value is going to be uh, the USD for each uh, customer type. So that's going to easy to compare uh, the customers for each item. So. This is the way we pass the data frame dot pivot uh, index is the item going to be the item index zero and one. And the columns that going to be uh, is the customer type columns going to be the columns for the new data frame. And the values for the new Data frame columns going to be the USD values. Okay, so when when you transform this, yeah, you can see simply the customer item zero, item one, and the customer type values going to be transformed into columns: bronze, gold, silver, and the values for each customer types are the prices in USD. Now you can simply understand uh, the prices in your city for each customer type of the each item across the row. Uh, so this is the way how you can transform or reshape your data frame. But pivot function does not support data aggregation multiple values will result in a multi-index in the column. So it doesn't support data aggregation as well as uh, multi-index columns uh, in uh, pivot. So what uh, we can do is pivot underscore table. So this pivot underscore table method comes to solve this problem. It works like pivot but it aggregates the values from rows with du du uh, duplicates entries for the specified columns. Duplicate entries. So 
uh, in other words, this in the previous example, we could uh, have used the mean, the median, or another aggregation function to compute a single value from the conflicting interest. So in this case, uh, we are going to use a mean or median values for the prices in USD to co easily compare for each item in uh, each customer type. So uh, this going to be solved using pivot underscore table instead of pivot function. So in this uh, function, we pass the index is item uh, and the, the column is going to be the customer type, C type. And the values going to be the USD in each customer type for each item across the row. And the aggregation function or ag function uh, going to be the mean of the values for each row, for each row, the mean of each row. So uh, it's going to be, and reset the index, it simply understand. So uh, this is the way how we can solve uh, such kind of problems. Uh, so if you want to aggregate, because pivots cannot support aggregation function. And one more example uh, is here, I have a data frame, indicator, column, country, column, year, values for each country, for each year, for each indicator. And uh, I would like to transpose the table so that the values in the indicator uh, column and the values in the indicator columns are the new columns. But uh, here we are going to use multi index uh, columns because we have two uh, columns that are going to be duplicated and we are going to use multi index uh, uh, as well. So the value is going to be value, the values for each column and the new uh, data frame column is going to be value. The index, multi-index that supporting multi-index because uh, it's going to be aggregates uh, based on uh, the country and the year because they are duplicated. And the column is uh, indicator. The indicator one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we will have five new columns. So, uh, and we will have two rows because we will have one country only, Ethiopia and 2021 and 2022 in year. So we, we will have two rows and uh, around seven or uh, so uh, columns. So here, the indicator columns, country, Ethiopia, we will have two rows. 21, uh, 22, two different years. And one, two, three, four, five, the indicator columns values going to be uh, transformed or transposed into columns. And the values column going to be uh, the values for each new uh, columns. So this is the way how we, you can uh, do, uh, you can transpose, reshape your data frame either using pivot or pivot table. So the two functions are very important to reshape or transpose your data to especially to compare, to aggregate uh, the columns rows in uh, based on uh, index and column and values. In a sense, pivot table is a generalization of pivots, which allow you to aggregate multiple values with the same destination in pivoted table. Thanks for watching.